This is such a good question. And we have to keep in mind that there are some key differences between these two studies. An ultrasound is extremely operator dependent. So it really depends on who is performing the ultrasound and that will dictate the information that you will get from the ultrasound. Ultrasound is also a very dynamic test, meaning that there can be a lot of movement that can elicit symptoms. It can show us different spaces and is actually one of the things that we look at when we are seeing if organs move relative to one another. So we, when we do that sliding side to see if the uterus moves relative to the bowel, uh, relative to the bladder. Uh, it's a very dynamic or movement-oriented study. MRI is a static study, meaning that the patient is still, there's not really movement that's going on. In fact, if there's movement happening, we call that uh, artifact sometimes, and that can make it more challenging to interpret. But MRI can give us a very good orientation of how the organs are to one another. Of course, we get that on ultrasound, but we get another way to view it on MRI. Uh, and MRI can help find other characteristics that may uh, support a diagnosis or show other findings that could give us more information. I will say, I mean, a fair amount of patients, all they really need is to come in and uh, we take a history, do a physical examination, and doing the mapping ultrasound. And in many cases, I have all the information I need to be able to make a recommendation or proceed with surgery. Other patients may end up having an MRI, either alone or uh, many times in conjunction with the ultrasound. And while I do review MRIs and look at the images with that surgeon's approach and mindset, <clears throat> The mapping ultrasound that is performed by me is so, so helpful for being able to counsel patients about what we will encounter at the time of surgery. And so it's really a must do before a patient undergoes surgery.